After escaping through a window in the city wall, I came to Jerusalem. While praying in this very temple, I had a vision in which I saw the Lord. He said to me, Paul, hurry and leave Jerusalem, because the people here will not believe your witness about me. Then I said to the Lord, But Lord, the people here in Jerusalem know how I persecuted and arrested those who believe in thee. I even helped put Stephen to death. Go, said the Lord, for I will send you far away to the Gentiles. You see? What did I tell you? This man loves and associates with the Gentiles. He profanes the temple. He blasphemes against God and brings disgrace upon the Israelite race. I say, away with him! Centurion, take the prisoner inside, on the double. The mob is determined to kill him. When you get him inside, whip him until you find out why the Israelites are so angry and determined he shall die. Then bring him to my quarters. I will question him. Yes, sir. You are all Roman officers, my aides. I want you to witness the interrogation with the Israelite prisoner. He is being whipped right now. You need not treat me so roughly, Centurion. I shall peacefully let you bind and whip me. All right. Stand over here. Bind him, soldier. Yes, sir. Do you wish to confess now who you really are? And why the Israelites are angry enough to kill you without even a trial? I told who I am out there, and I... But the chief captain wants the truth, not a pack of lies. I'll have to whip you if you're not going to talk. Is it lawful for you to whip a Roman citizen who hasn't even been tried or even legally accused of a crime? I, uh... I'll have to go see the chief captain about this. Uh, sir, uh, uh the prisoner, the one I was about to whip, uh, it says, uh, he's a Roman citizen. Come, we will go see for ourselves. Tell me, are you truly a Roman citizen? I am. I am too. I paid a large sum of money to become one, though. Sir, I am a Roman citizen by birth. You are? Yes, sir. Well, you realize that I have only your word for this. Also, you will recall when starting your defense to the people that you said you were an Israelite, born in Tarsus. My mother was an Israelite, my father a Roman citizen. No, uh, well, I shall have to investigate and find the truth of the matter. Leave him in chains, but do not whip him. Tomorrow I shall call a council of Sanhedrin and others to discover the truth. Your Highness, the chief of the Roman captain sent me with a message. Yes? The captain discovered that the prisoner taken in the temple is a Roman citizen. The captain wants you to charge the prisoner formally with some specific crime. As a Roman citizen, he cannot be punished except first that he be tried and found guilty. Uh, tell the captain that his wish shall be granted. Members of this august body of Israelites, in a short time we must appear before a Roman officer to charge Paul with a specific crime, and it must needs be one that is punishable by death. Your Highness, I doubt we need worry too much. The Roman laws permit us to execute Israelite citizens. Under conviction of our own laws, all we need is permission of some Roman officer. I, I fail to tell you that Paul is a Roman citizen, and the Roman officer found it out. So the crime must be punishable with death by their laws. Oh, can he be bribed? If he weren't an army officer, I'd say yes. But army officers are very cautious about accepting bribes. Well, what then shall we do? Well, we have one ray of hope. The chief captain is permitting us to charge Paul formally and to try him in our own court. <laughs> if we find him guilty, even though it be according to our laws, I think the captain will give his permission to mete out justice as befits the penalties of our laws. I think we can do that, especially right now when the Romans wish to keep on the good side of us Israelites, so we won't rebel against their occupation. <laughs> Sir, 
The Sanhedrin is sitting, awaiting you and the prisoner. Fine. Get the prisoner and take him to the council room. We will be there shortly. First, do you wish to speak, prisoner? Yes, thank you, sir. Learned men of the Sanhedrin, I stand here before the same council of which I was once a member. I did then as earnestly seek the conviction of the believers in Jesus as you do now. All my life, even up to this very moment, I have lived in all good conscience before God. Sacrilege and blasphemy! You who stand near him, smite him on the mouth. God will smite you, whited sepulcher, where you sit to judge me in keeping with the law and commandest me to be smitten contrary to the law. You have insulted the high priest. I did not know, brethren, that he is the high priest. For it is written, you shall not speak evil of the ruler of your people. No man is perfect, we all know that. Yet this man just said that he is. May I remind you that he also claims to be an Israelite, at the same time a Roman? He claims to worship God, but is he found in the temple worshiping God? No. no. I say unto you, my fellow Israelites, this fellow is not worthy to live. No, he, he must be killed. Yes. 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 